everyone. This is Abdul Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. In addition to being an awesome YouTuber, I am also a certified Google educator. What that means is, I can basically use Google to enhance education. Anyway, so I'm going to very, very quickly attempt something. A lot of people get terrified whenever they're asked to do something like use Google for their classroom. So I'm going to attempt to start it really, really quickly and show you how easy it is. The first step you do is always start by going to google.com. As soon as you do that at the top, you're just going to go ahead and click sign in. So this is my school email and this is my school password. And I am signed in. If you don't have that email, you're going to have to talk to your school tech person to get it. Do not use your personal email for this. That is against Google's policies and it is a safety issue. There are not those security measures in regular emails. So you need to use your school's email that's Google enabled and your students need to use their school email. Anyway, once that's signed in, I'm going to go to Google Classroom. Now, I already have a bunch of classrooms set up here. As you can see, these are all classrooms that I'm either a part of or that I have created. So what I'm actually going to do is go at the top and there's going to be a plus button that says create or join a class. I do that and then I say create class. And let's say I want to create a class called Awesome Google Techniques for Educators. Section, I can give it any section, I'll just give it one. Subject, I'll call this Teacher Education. And room, I teach in room 427, so I'm going to go ahead and say that. And as soon as I click, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. You cannot count this time against me. This is Google, not me. Or this is my Wi-Fi. Either way, you cannot count this time against me in how quickly I showed you. So there we go. Awesome Google techniques for educators. Section 1. So... Here are some quick assignments. Right now, there's nothing there. I can share something with my class, so I can say first message, welcome to Google. And then I would go ahead and I can search a YouTube video. So I will say, what is Google Classroom? And look at that, a bunch of videos come up, right? And let's say I want my teachers to watch this, the teachers that are learning, the students that are learning, whatever it may be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the first one and now that's set up. So I can actually post this first message, welcome to Google. Now all of my students will see this message the next time they log in and they're going to be able to watch this video. Wait, what students? That's the step you're going to ask, right? What is the point of me creating a classroom if I can't add students? By the way, if you're doing this outside of school and you're just doing it as a fun project with your friends or whatever, then Google totally allows it. So there's two ways you can add people. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this huge chunk called people up here. Here you've got two buttons, teachers and students. Let's say I want to add another teacher to this classroom. I'm going to do this and I'm going to go ahead and invite someone. Let's say fake name, add google.com and I would be able to add them as a recipient and voila they would get a notification next time they log into Google Classroom they are the teacher in this class should they choose to accept it very mission impossible that sound anyway now students if I want to add I can do this that I can add students one by one but that's gonna be pretty useless because I don't ever really remember my students names so let's say my student is named Pakistani Pepper 2 at Google.com. I can add him and one by one I can go down the list and add Pakistani Pepper 3, 4, 7, 8, 10, you know, all of them in my class. But that's again not going to work because it's just way too many. So now look at this right here. There's this little word invite students or give them the class code. And this class code, which I'll just zoom in for you quickly right here is my class's code. Basically, when someone logs into Google Classroom with their email, they're going to be able to punch in this code and join as a student. 
Now, if I have this right here, this gear, I click on that and look, it shows me that again, the class code. I'm going to click on the code. I can copy it and attach it to an email. I can reset it. I can disable it so that no one can join using the code if they somehow find out. Or I can click here on display and bam, it is nice and visible. So this would be great for a smart board. Once I've actually done that, I can decide what students can do. Students can post and comment. They can only comment or only teachers can post and comment. Basically, the post I just made, do you want students to be able to make posts like that? If you do, you leave that to what it is. Now, once let's say I have an entire class of students and my classroom does not look so super lonely, now is the next step, creating an assignment. But that is actually going to be saved for my next tutorial because that is the sign of a great storyteller. Always leave them wanting more. So anyway, I hope you guys like this first step of setting up your classroom and maybe if you want to do it and actually play around with creating assignments for yourself, there's a great way to teach students. It's also a great way to create a fun project with friends if you don't have a school education account but just want to collaborate with friends on something. Anyway, as always, this is Pakistani Pepper, a.k.a. Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, saying peace out and stay peppery. And don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. I'm out.